Saturday afternoon, the Army women's basketball team welcomed Fairleigh Dickinson to Crystal Arena. After the visitors tied the game at 21 early in the second half, Molly Yardley made a play on both ends of the floor to put the Black Knights back out front. Left wing to Panky, guarded by Yardley. She'll sprint to the top of the key. Now 10 to shoot. Crossover into the lane, blocked on its way there by Yardley, and she'll grab the loose ball. A quick outlet to Travis. Good all called for it. Travis, though, will give it off to Yardley at the top of the key. Wide open for a three. Got it. Molly Yardley, second three, giving Army a three-point lead, 24-21. But FDU would respond with a 9-2 run to regain a four-point lead. Two free throws by both Liz Benedict and Jen Hazlett tied the game for the eighth time. After a technical foul by FDU's Esther Wallace, Jessica Wagoner knocked down a free throw, giving Army the lead again. The Black Knights kept their offense rolling after that. Tries a cutting Yardley left side high with eight to shoot. Drives, right-handed running, lay-in, rolls around, no good. Wagner tips it to herself, blocked by Childs, ball loose. Yardley with the reverse lay-in, falls Molly Yardley. Now with nine points, and Army with a two-point lead, 33-30. to Left-hand dribble, here comes a double team by Lowry. A soft bounce pass, Wagner, right elbow. Rims out and bounces off the backboard, and good. Jessica Wagner is showing off the touch. So Hazel will inbound the ball. Left corner to Doucette, guarded by Lowry. Finds Wagner, left block, goes up strong with a right hand and good! Jessica Wagner with nine points gives Army a seven point lead at 40 to 33. Army went on to pick up the 51-37 win. Wagner finished with 11 points and eight rebounds, both career highs. It was a lot of fun. Um, they were getting at it and we just needed to do a little bit more shot fakes and uh, Olivia and I, we. You know, I kind of faded away on a couple and just noticed they weren't strong enough, so I kept on just taking it to them. Um, missed a few layups that I wish I would have made, but overall it was a good, it was fun. After the game, head coach Dave McGarity liked how his team competed against a tough opponent. You look at, at halftime, and I think we were being out-rebounded. And you look at the final stats, I mean, we ended up out rebounded them by, by 12 rebounds, and obviously that was a big second-half performance. The Black Knights are back in action Wednesday when they host Manhattan. Tip-off is at 5 p.m. Reporting from Crystal Arena, Rick Johnston, ITT Excellus Night Vision.